Hello fellow creatives, thank you for tuning in today. In today's video, I discuss using a new method of using images to create your likeness or those of your friends and family more accurately using a new tool called Blend. It's very simple and you don't have to use image addresses anymore, although you can combine image addresses if you want. What you need to do is instead of typing forward slash imagine, you simply type forward slash blend and you'll notice right away that it pops up. Just click on it or press the enter key. As you can see, you'll have two boxes where you upload your images either through your computer files or through your phone gallery. That's if you're using Midjourney Discord on your phone. From there, just click on the box and find your images. If you want to add more, just click on the section you see me clicking on. You'll notice a drop down menu where you can choose dimensions, which will create either the default square box or the 2 to 3 or the 3 to 2 aspect ratios. After choosing your dimensions and adding more images, you then press enter twice to start rendering. Here's a cool tip. I've been getting a lot of messages from viewers who are having a hard time getting accurate images. Blend mode can possibly help you with that, but the tip I'm going to give you may help you in future renders. Here's the tip. Add several images of yourself, one wide, one medium, and one close-up shot of your face, like the images you see here. Then Midjourney will do its thing and create these amazing images. As you can see, you don't have the option of adding text prompts when you blend, but once it's uploaded, you can just either do two things, copy the image addresses like you see me doing here, and paste it into your imagine section, then add your text prompts, and whatever ending prompts you want. The second option is using the remix tool. Make sure you have the remix tool mode enabled by checking your settings. If you don't have it on, click on it. That way you can click on the variation button and start remixing. As you see here, after the image prompts, I added my text prompt. Although I noticed that the backgrounds don't turn out right using the blend mode with the remix tool. And I suggest that you simply copy your image prompts instead to use them like you see here. Adding your text prompts, which will render an accurate interpretation to your ideas. As you can see, I wanted a spy standing inside a casino. Using the remix tool didn't quite capture what I wanted. It looked washed out. The opacity was low. But using the other method, I was able to capture an accurate depiction of my casino background while still keeping the image of the talent. So what do you think? Will you be using the blend mode or keep using the regular method? Also, don't forget my tip on using several images of yourself, a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close-up shot of yourself to capture more accurate renders. Let me know if they worked or they didn't work for you in the comments below. If you liked this video, give me a like. That thumbs up button needs some excitement. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome inspiring ideas. It doesn't cost a thing. Subscribing actually propels my channel into YouTube's strange algorithm to be viewable to more people. So I definitely need your help to grow. So click on that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Well, that's it for today. This is Art signing off, and don't forget to muse it or lose it.